Whether it's your first apartment in the city, a trendy suburban townhouse, or that dream family home on a golf estate, there's a home for everyone on private property. Apply for your home loan with the bank awarded Best Home Loans Product in Africa. Make things happen. Nedbank. Welcome to Winner Home, the design edition. Brought to you by Private Property and proud association with Nedbank. With only six contestants left, it's all about smart design in a small space with a big budget. As our designers tackle the smallest room in the house. It sounds easy, but let's see how difficult it really can be. Previously on Winner Home, our contestants decorated their spare rooms and were given the individual challenge of creating a Durban-centric decor item. The winners of the latter were Renata from Bespoke, Rochelle from Blueprint and Jacqueline from Detail, who all got immunity from elimination. Team Blueprint were declared the main challenge winner and Detail came in last. This meant that Jacqueline got to stay, but Travis had to go. Now as detailed sole survivor, Jacqueline has become the show's first team champion, which guarantees her a spot in the top three. Now the remaining contestants are Jacqueline from Detail, Wanga, Rochelle and Sofiso from Blueprints, and Zamkita and Renata from Bespoke, all vying for the 100,000 Rand prize. Hello, contestants. Hello. Are you guys excited for your next challenge? Yes. yes. Just remember, at this stage of the game, each of you have one in six chance of winning the 100,000 Rand cash prize. Yeah. It's getting tougher. Yeah. All right, this week's room challenge is one of the most functional rooms in any home. You can relax in it, and it's essential to your daily routine. Contestants with 30,000 Rand You'll be designing and decorating the bathroom. <laughs> Blueprint and bespoke. We still need to find your team champions. That means in order for you to be safe, you have to win. One of the five of you will be going home. Jacqueline, as team champion, you're safe from elimination. Yay! <laughs> 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 but you are competing for the 100,000 Rand. Should your rooms not impress, your design dream may never become a reality. Good luck, contestants, and may the best bathroom win. And so the first day of the bathroom challenge begins. And while Jacqueline's feeling the heat, her mentor, Shanae, is on hand to provide encouragement. So, Jax. It's you, my babes. Yeah, the pressure's on. It's, it's quite stressful. I've, I'm so used to working with um, a partner, whereas yes. now I'm alone. It was difficult to lose Travis because that was my partner. That was someone I could rely on. We could console in each other. We, we had an understanding. When you lose something like that, it's so difficult to actually start learning to work alone and learning that all the responsibility is now on me. If you can hold yourself accountable and realize that the ball is in your court now, mm. you'll be fine. Thank you so much, Shanae. Okay. It might be the smallest room in the apartment, but decorating it in a way that makes a big impact is going to be an even bigger challenge. So Jacqueline really does need all the advice she can get. I need to figure out how I'm going to make this small space work and not feel so small. So do I pull everything off? But now it goes back to the budget. Do I have money to do that? So there's a lot to consider. Do you have any idea what you're going to do? Well, I was thinking to break off the two spaces and to add some privacy, maybe adding reeds onto this opening here. Okay. And probably adding more to the vanity. Definitely. In terms of colour, maybe look at the sea green, quite similar to what you've used in your master suite, yes. just a bit more saturated, you know, a little bit more deeper. And then bring in coppers and silvers, maybe a little bit of black again. Thank you so okay. much, Sinead, for You're the advice. Welcome. Okay, thanks. Oh, 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 best of luck. Team Blueprints have big bathroom plans too. Let's hope they can pull them off within their 30,000 Rand budget. Wanga holds court. The plan, the idea is to have glass slats, strips of them going through, basically a pair specs, give you a waterfall going through, sliding down here. Rochelles, what's next? 
I'm thinking hexagon tiles there, and then our vanity with a light behind, frameless. Peace out! Yo, yo, what's up? This is like where we spend the most time, so these guys are going, out they go. I feel like we almost must be a bit more playful here, so that we bring in colour from there into the space, so that the space has a bit of punchiness and feel. Better shower head there, it's like a rectangle one, so you feel like you're in a waterfall. That's going big and bold. As for Bespoke... Hi, welcome, welcome to, to the Bespoke, bespoke Bathroom. bathroom. Uh, today we're talking about what bespoke. we're going to be doing with the space. Yes, we're definitely going to be changing the tiles. Uh, we're going to be painting. Uh, we would like to create some more storage in here. It's a master ensuite after all. And try and increase the space in our bathroom by customising our extra storage. And adding some pretty lights and of course a mirror. But that's it for now, because we have to go shopping. Bye! The glorious north coast of KZN is one of the best places to live in South Africa, no matter what time of the year. And private property Simon Bray knows exactly why this neighborhood holds so much appeal. Simon, one minute you're on the highway and the next you're surrounded by beautiful views and it feels like you're a part of nature. How do these areas emerge? Oh, it's really a great growth story in Natal, you know, a lot of it was centred around Durban, uh, but you're seeing a lot of growth north of Durban these days. So Mshlanga, where the development is based for Winner Home, great development going on there, particularly uh, commercial and retail, and of course a lot of views, that beautiful development that we're in. But up here on the north coast, you've got that lovely merge between the natural scenery, uh, great lifestyle opportunities, and most of the development is happening in estates like Sambiti. I didn't know spaces like this existed and all of a sudden it seems like they're booming. Oh, you're 100% right. You know, when people are looking for their next home, it's so much more than just the bricks and mortar that they're choosing. It's, it's the lifestyle, it's the neighbourhood, it's the community that they're moving into. They really need to answer the question, where do they want to live? Uh, so that's why on the site we've actually developed a, a cool tool to look through all of South Africa's best neighbourhoods. You can see uh, beautiful galleries about the neighbourhood, you can see the property market and what it's doing. So really useful tools for somebody that's looking to either invest in property or move into a particular neighbourhood. With all of that information, it's easy to see why people are choosing a state living. It's obviously a controlled environment, so there's a sense of safety and security that comes with living in the estate. You get to choose what your house looks like. A lot of the homes in an estate like this are built plot and plan. Uh, so you get to choose your finishes, you get to choose the layout. And another great benefit that a lot of people don't think about is that you don't have to actually pay transfer duty. So lots of reasons to move into an estate, but I think, you know, once you're here, it's all about the lifestyle opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, you have until the 1st of November to enter our incredible competition to win amazing prizes. There are two different ways to enter. The first is to simply vote online for your favourite team at winnerhome.tv and you'll be entered into our grand prize draw where you could win one of three fantastic prizes. The third prize is 50,000 rands worth of LG products so you can furnish your home with cutting-edge appliances. The second prize is the all-new Mercedes-Benz GLC 300, the latest addition to their luxurious German-engineered lineup. As for the first prize, it's a two-bedroom home at Ilala Views in Durban, set within the prestigious Umschlange Ridge area and enjoying truly magnificent views. The second way to enter into the grand prize draw is to enter our weekly bonus competitions via SMS. Our bonus prize this week is Plascon Paint to the retail value of 10,000 Rand. To enter, SMS the keyword Plascon to 33728. That's Plascon to 33728. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. Entries for our SMS competition close at midnight on Monday the 12th of October. And of course, T's and C's can be found on winnerhome.tv. Remember, voting online as well as each SMS to enter our bonus competitions puts you in line to be one of the three winners of our three grand prizes. When we return, Jacqueline has a breakthrough, blueprints suffer budget drama, and Bespoke get hands-on to save, but at what cost? Plascon, the paint with up to 15 years quality guarantee. Welcome back to Winner Home, the design edition, brought to you by Private Property and Proud Association with Nedbank. With 30,000 Rand, our contestants need to be financially savvy. With the small space, they also have to be smart with their design. Jacqueline's decided she needs more space, and I'm going to help. Oh, yeah. Ah! Kanya, Kanya, please, leave it to the 
professionals. None of them. Jacqueline, no, you're gonna miss I'm trying time. to help. No. In a bit to stand out, Jacqueline's decided to make a seriously bold move. My concept is to bring the bedroom and the bathroom, make them one space, literally. I'm gonna break everything apart. So I'm a little bit stressed right now. I've got all these amazing ideas. Want to remove this bath, add a freestanding bath, break down these walls to 300, leave a miller here for the plumbing. But the problem is actually getting a plumber that can do all of this in time, considering our deadline. Yeah, the plumbers are ridiculous and they're not willing to come out. And the, the ones that are, they're quoting me crazy prices. So I'm like, well, where am I going to get that money from? Meanwhile, Team Blueprint pay a visit to Tile Africa to pick out some Johnson's tiles to help give their currently plain bathroom a little more panache. Basically, this is our floor and wall tile. And the whole tile plays tribute to our concept, which is Seaside Hughes. What we're going to do with this guy is we're going to put him on the floor and run him to eye level on the wall. And then we've got this lovely wall feature that's got slates on it that we're going to be using. And that's going to be handled by my boy Wanga, who's across there at the slates. So for our cladding, we decided to go with the sandstone interlocking. There's two different kinds, there's a darker one, there's a more lighter one. Reason why we're going with the lighter one, we want to give the, the user the feel as if it's much more spacious as you enter. And Rochelle will tell you more about the accent tiles. So this is the border we're going to use in the bathroom. We're trying to keep that copper consistent and throughout all our rooms. And it even looks good on me. Back at Jacqueline's apartment, her existing tub has been taken out of the picture, but it's left a bit of a crater in its wake. Fortunately, it looks like she might have found the perfect man to fill the void in her bathroom's heart. I've got fantastic news. I found a builder slash tiler slash plumber, and he's going to make this work for me. 100%. My deadline's on Wednesday. Are you sure you can make it? Not a problem. We'll be done. We have a winner! As for Team Bespoke, they are tile shopping too, where they're meeting their mentor in The whole ceiling, just that. So we just do the width, yes. you're saying the width of the yeah, tile? Yeah, yes. here, and yes. they just come down. Tokozo and Sankita and I often don't understand each other the first go around. At this point, the relationship with our mentor is... Uh, so if you're going to have stripe, use something yes. plainer like this yes. and, yes. you know. Yes. Um, if I'm giving you advice as a mentor, I'm not attacking you personally. I just want to know what's going on in the background. Yeah, I suppose it can be frustrating for, for both parties, you know what I mean? It's strange in a way because it, it starts off with us not hearing one another and then when we try and listen, we realise that we're saying the same things. And just upcycle it, just using the dimension yes. of the window. Jacqueline, the team detail champion, continues to enjoy a little more plain sailing. I found the perfect bath, guys. I mean, look at it. I fit in it, as tall as I am. I love my bath. It is beautiful. It's organic shape. It's big. I can fit in it. Sounds like great. Team Blueprint are about to bounce their idea off their mentor grant. But have they jumped the gun with their purchases? Next project, bathrooms. Yep. So let's start with what you want to do. What ideas have you got? We've already went ahead and bought a whole lot of stuff. And I'm at a point where I feel like we might have just made the biggest mistakes of our lives. OK, so our plan is when you walk in there to create a focal point to do cladding in sandstone. To separate the two spaces, which is the bathroom and that, we, we were thinking of putting this um, the, the wall feature, which is like just a glass feature, and having the waterfall dripping from the actual wall. Water, no waterfall. OK. No waterfall. The waterfalls are a no-no in houses, small houses yeah. especially, OK? The mistake we made, we, we needed to go to the mentor in the morning and then sit down with the mentor and then go to tile shopping or whatever. The concept for the room is Bang, okay? Okay. And you never heard, I never heard a bang. I'm still waiting for a bang. We are going east and Grant wants us to go west. He's one direction with that direction. At some point, we need to meet at some equilibrium of understanding, you know? How many days have you got? We've got three days, but since today is gone, we basically have two days to cut off time. No. Okay, so remember, big ideas. Okay. Right, let's see you. Go. Back at Jacqueline's, her bathroom is really being broken apart. 
But now she's starting to question her idea. So they banged down the whole wall and I don't know, I don't know if this is going to work or if it isn't. Guess you'll have to hold thumbs. Team Blueprint also have no clue if their plans are going to work out, as they have a few issues that are seriously stretching their budget. Nothing's going right with our bathroom. I've got Joe here. We don't want him to start and we work because we're not sure whether we have any money or not. So we find out that we're going to be tiling on tile, so it kind of messes everything up, the shower door. And then we do a coat, and it turns out to be a big amount. Removal is 250. Reinstallation is 750 for unit seven. Initially. And the subtotal is 1,140. 1,200 rand for a shower door to remove. That, that's ridiculous. It's so easy to do. I don't know how you can charge that much money just to remove a door and put it back. Um, yeah, I'm in a state right now. Uh, we, really, we really don't know what to do. Damage control, that's all. It's right. already started, you can't just leave it like this. The we'll put, we'll put it back together ourselves. It'll be easier if so we'll take it out and put it back in the bathroom. No, we'll try, we'll work out a way. I think having three members still um, is getting to all of us. It's getting tougher now to work as a team because everyone's fighting to get to the top and now it's like we're holding each other back and who's going to come out on top? I don't know. Bespoke have a tight budget too, but are taking a more hands-on approach. So we don't have any money, and some kids and I figured it can't be that hard. We'll just do it ourselves. Ah. Ooh. Hey, we'll just lift our two meter high shower doors ourselves. Our very heavy two meter high shower doors. And we have a lift off. Oh, yeah. Did something just break? All I'm thinking about is the money to replace the doors if we break them. Because we do not have the money. Each door is like the price of our entire budget. There's a piece of our shower door. <laughs> Let's hope they won't need that later. So we've made space for my freestanding bath. The good thing is the tiles are still all intact, so that's great. No money needs to be spent there. The painting, not going so well. Yeah, my painter just decided it's home time, it's three o'clock, I have things to do. This is a problem. I'm gonna need to hide this. So probably, probably gonna have a 45 degree angle here. Um, still need the column to come up here tomorrow. And paint this whole room. Hopefully this all works out. I'm really stressed because of time. I have to consider my time, I have to consider my budget. There's so much to consider because it's just me. End of day one, time to go home. Goodbye, people. As team champion, Jacqueline does not need to participate in the individual challenge, but the other contestants have been summoned for a brief in Team Blueprint's winning spare room. I'm hating it. I mean, why do they have to like rub into our faces that we didn't win? Yeah. No snacks, no guests. I don't eat it. Nothing in the Okay, cool it, guys. Cool it, cool it. Glad to see there's no tension here. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's get to your individual challenge. A bathroom incorporates all your senses. You can associate it with a look, a feeling, a sound, and obviously a smell. You will have 300 Rand to find, create, or buy a design element that incorporates smell. Wow, shock off a year. A new scent? You're not looking for a bouquet of flowers or a diffuser or any potpourri. So please, find something that we've never seen or smelt before. Let your nose be your guide. I don't really understand what the individual challenge is this week. I mean, they don't want potpourri, they don't want flowers, they don't want candles. But I may have an idea and I hope it keeps me safe this week. Remember, you have until the 1st of November before we close our competition to win a two-bedroom apartment in Durban or a luxury car or 50,000 rands worth of appliances by either entering online at winnerhome.tv or by entering our weekly SMS competitions where you can win bonus prizes too. Welcome back to Winner Home, the design edition, brought to you by Private Property in proud association with Nedbank. 
as team champion, Jacqueline is already one of our top three finalists. And we're still looking for a team champion for each of the two remaining teams. Only by winning the room challenge or by winning the individual challenge can one guarantee safety from the next elimination. Who will win the battle of the bathrooms? Jacqueline got nervous after breaking down the wall between her bathroom and bedroom, but now things are looking good. My mentor and I have decided to actually use wall cladding. This is Baltic pine. This is water resistant, so that's great. And we will be cladding this here, and that will be seating. So you can literally just have a seat here and be like, so baby, how's that beautiful bath you're having? How can this go wrong? I mean, honestly. Meanwhile, Blueprints have returned to their favorite carpenter, a man they trust to get their woodwork done well. We keep going back to Richard because he does a good job, you know, and, and he really wants to help us. He really wants to see us win. We will put a slit into the wood like that. Awesome. Right. Nice. I like and that. We'll route out a groove. Yeah. And then your LED light fits inside there. We're here for advice because we know we want to put lights at the top of that um, sandstone and, and like cast it down the sandstone, but we're having problems on how we're going to do it. Richard is awesome. He does so many favors for us. We go back to him because he knows us and he's like part of the team. Oh, it's in the as for Team Bespoke's Renata, she's on a mission to find a few finishing touches. I'm just trying to keep it simple. I'm choosing very classic items, uh, beautiful vanilla candles. I found this beautiful bird, a uh, blue-green bird that reminds me of the scatter that was our inspiration for the room, so that's really why we got it. Yeah, this might be nice on one of our little shelves and, oh. There's another little birdie. This one's also very nice. And another blue bird? This is amazing. Which bird should I choose? I like these two. I don't know about this one. Okay, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I gotta go. Three little birds perched on my doorstep. And I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> Back at Jacqueline's, she's starting to realize that open plan isn't without its drawbacks. Now that I've broken down the wall, there isn't enough privacy within my space. So my mentor and I, we thought, how about having some sort of print on toughened glass where I'm able to actually slide it on this track. So if you're in the loo, you close off the loo, and if you're in the shower, you close off the shower. I'm at this engineering plastics place, um, trying to get a coat, because my first coat for toughened glass was hell of expensive. I mean, 12,000 Rand? Where must I get that from? That's half of my budget. So I thought, hmm, what about Perspex? Perspex is a clever choice as it's a fraction of the price of glass and can endure both high temperatures and humidity. The Perspex can handle the heat, so that was another issue that I was freaking out on. But hey, it works. The bathrooms are getting there, but how are our contestants' individual challenges coming along? For my individual project, I've decided to make a battery. I've decided to call my product Haze which is his or hers, so because I'm designing for a couple. So what I've done is, I've cut up two 800 millimeters flat planks, and the other one is 400, which is gonna be the top base of that. This will serve as my incense holder, which will slot in between there. I'll drill some holes at the top, whereby it will release the smell. And then on the side here, I'll have um, different candles with different incense as well, so that it's, a, it's the whole combination of three smells. There has been path trays forever, but I just wanted to, to make my own, that has my own touch and feel to it. That's it. Okay, so I have decided for my individual challenge to make this multifunctional boiler flask scented slash toilet holder slash phone holder. This is the main thing. It can take heat. Um, it's a boiling flask. And then I'm going to burn my oil in that. That will give up this nice scent. And then I've got a toilet roll at the bottom. I've got a phone that you can put in here, multifunctional, or a book, or a tablet. And then while you're doing your business, you can do your business. My individual challenge, I'm not sure if it's going to save me. I've got a very competitive individual in our team. One guy used the same wood, he changed his top part, and yeah, now I don't know anymore. Safiso is confident. For the first time on the show, I've brought my A game on, and I think I, I stand a big chance of getting immunity here. I'm so happy my baby's here. 
So for my individual challenge, basically what I did was I designed a scent holder on AutoCAD. And for my thesis last year, while I was studying, I found out that when you use different scents together and put them together, you get a new scent. Scents work better when you put them at a higher rise above each other. So you put one scent here, one scent here, join them together and you get a fresh new scent. And basically it's all thanks to Center Step. Thank you. Clearly, Safiso's got a handle on his fragrance creation. But what about Team Bespoke's Zimkita? I'm trying to put together like a candle holder looking diffuser with bath salts and have full candle look but without the candles. Like it doesn't have to be lit. We don't even need to burn them because the scent from them is so strong and it's for the whole room. No fires, no matches, no need for all that fussy stuff. In my mind, when I did the calculations, it seemed pretty easy. I'll just measure, I'll cut accordingly, and just fit the things in. I mean, what could be so intense, you know, and it's a rectangular shape, so it should be straightforward enough. And then when I actually try to put it together... <laughs> well, good luck with that. As for Renata, it would seem as though she knows what she's doing. I was a bit pressed for time for my solo challenge this week, so I decided to do um, a remake of a scented candle. I've got some ingredients, some uh, fresh rosemary, and um, I've got a beautiful lavender plant here. This is something that I do at home that my partner does all the time to make our house smell great, is we just crush up um, some lavender leaves uh, to release the oil. And then I've got some star anise, and some cloves, because we are in Durban. And I'm just using some good old cooking oil. This is, oopsie, canola oil. I'm not like bringing it up to the boil, and then I'm gonna let it seep for the day. And later on, I'll pour it into my beautiful oil burner jug, and Bob's your uncle. As the sun sets on Durban, it takes with it the second day of the contestants' bathroom challenge. While they all made progress, there's still lots to do, so here's hoping day three will bode well. It's the final day of the bathroom challenge. Entire rooms were ripped out and replaced in just three days. Let's see whose design will be their destiny and whose design dreams will go down the drain. It's a new day and Team Blueprint's up and at them. Or at least, Safiso is. Blueprint! Yo, what's up, Kay? This what up? is not Blueprint. Where's the rest of your team? The last time I saw those guys was in the morning. There are a few things for, uh, going wrong with our team. I'm, uh, I've fallen off with Ro Rochelle. I think I've vented to her a lot and she didn't like that. With Wanga and myself, I think this last week, we try to work together as a team still because we know what we're trying to accomplish, but it's difficult when you don't want to talk. <laughs> I've said so many things that I shouldn't have said to, to so many people and I'm not happy with that. I should have kept whatever I felt to myself, but it didn't happen that way. What needs to be done here? Just a few touch-ups. We're finishing off that area there with the pieces of tiles. Closing up this area with some cladding. We're good to go. Hmm. Almost there. Quality takes time. Quality takes time and time yeah. is something you do not have a lot of. Basically, the whole shower needs to be grouted and it has to dry and that's time. At this point, I really don't think we're close to winning. I mean, we won't win without bathroom. It's not going to happen. And if Rochelle wins, I'm out of here. I don't know what to say, guys. Emotionally drained. While the Discord and Team Blueprint isn't ideal, Bespoke have issues too in that they are running way behind schedule. There's like one hour left to go. There is everything to be done. And I know I say this a lot, I say it with all the rooms, but this time, <laughs> it, it is worse. Our bathroom is a mess at the moment. There are installers everywhere. There are the painters, the tilers, the guy who is fitting the new uh, vanity. Hello, sir. Hi. How are you doing? How can you? I'm great. I'm looking for Team Bespoke. They're not here. They're not here. Where could they be? Time for some detective work. Ooh, wet paint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 30 minutes, that means three minutes per stripe. Someone has to be around. Ah, here we go. Someone's here. Bespoke! 
Hi, Zinkita. Thank you for that. Think you forgot that? Safety first. Where have you been? I've been downstairs working my individual challenge. Your individual challenge? Yes. And your room challenge is nowhere close to being finished. What's going on here? Yeah, you can see, Kanye, man. You can see you stressed me out. Zinkita, it's the last half an hour on the final day. I really hope you guys pull this together because if you don't complete this, your individual challenge won't matter. It is really, really, really bad. Despite a lack of teammates to help her carry the load, Jacqueline seems to be doing a good job of pulling things together in time. Which way does this fit? Done it. This way. Final hour, I found plumbers that are actually working really hard to put this together. So I'm really grateful about that. But yo, it's still a construction site. Hello, Jacqueline. Hi, Kenya. You seem to be doing great. I'm stressed. I'm freaking out. There's so much that's going wrong. All the plumbing needs to be done, seeing as my plumber didn't pitch today. So I'm hoping these guys can help me finish on time. I'll see you on the other side. Good luck. Cheers. Cheers. Oof, my hands are dirty. I don't know if I still have time to actually... I don't know. I, I'm just stressed that my, my space is in a mess. When we return, our contestants make a mad dash to finish and one team has to down tools before making a final touch. Also, we get to meet this week's judges, one of which is a design industry icon. Make the things that really matter happen for you. Improve your home by accessing the funds you've already paid into your home loan with Nedbank Readvance. Go to nedbank.co.za forward slash home loans. Make things happen. Nedbank. Welcome back to Winner Home, the design edition, brought to you by Private Property and proud association with Nedbank. The rain has come to cool things down as tensions in the bathroom reach boiling points. Our contestants have a last chance to do their final touches before the judges arrive. I don't think these shoes were a good idea. I, hey, whoa. Blueprint is still busy. We have 10 minutes left. Just came from the shops, I don't think we're gonna finish. Yo, final moments. Panicking, not knowing when to start, finish, do what. The tile is still putting grout. It is slippery, it is dirty, it is dusty. Everybody's on top of each other, one is still painting. I'm rolling things, cleaning things, someone is in the bath, someone is on top of me fixing something on the wall. It's just crazy. While Blueprint is in a frenzy, Jacqueline is almost done. At this point, it's all about the finishing touches. Paying attention to detail is really important in this game. I'm trying to decide where to place my flowers. I don't want to cluster the place as well because it's not really cramped with the vinyl print. I feel like the space is much darker. Tick tock, tick tock, the time is running out. It is mad in our bathroom. It's a small space. It's packed full of installers. Some Kita and I have jumped in. We are DIYing. I'm trying to screw in a towel rail. I don't know how people do this. She's drilling. I don't know if she knows how to use a drill. Giggles. I'm drilling. I'm feeling powerful. Very proud of myself. I'm like, yeah, Dad, you should see me now. I'm scared to like burst apart, crack the wall. It's madness. I have performed miracles today. Time's up. It was a crazy, crazy challenge, and I think we finished just by the hair on our chinny chin chin. Team Blueprint's bathroom isn't 100% complete, but it's time to down tools. Blueprint? Yep. Rochelle, stop. Freeze. Time is up. Please leave the room. Okay. Guys, I'm just placing it. No, stop. I'm placing I asked it. you to freeze and stop. Please leave the room. After three days doing a bathroom, I'm emotionally drained, physically drained, and yeah, I need a spa and a tequila. <laughs> Our guest judge this week is one of South Africa's most renowned interior designers, one of the mentors from the last season of Winner Home, and a designer all our contestants can aspire to be. It's the Stephen Falk. Multi-award-winning designer Stephen Falk's work has taken him around the globe. While his travels have influenced his art, his aesthetic is always evolving. I haven't 
got a particular style. I like to look at the brief, look at the architecture, look at the client, and kind of do exciting things, put them together to make rules, to break rules. It's very boring just doing the same thing for everyone. So everyone is a new challenge and a new idea, and I find that you know, tremendous contrast in what I do is something that I love. There is wonderful talent in South Africa. They are wonderful, wonderful people. I actually bumped into a man who goes around the world looking at homewares and looking at design, and he said, you know, um, kind of we've been to Australia and we've been to Europe, but South Africa is top of our list today. South Africa has a uniqueness, and they have a certain style that is kind of what they're all about, and I think that's what the exciting sort of aspect of living and designing in this country. Time is up, and the bathroom challenge is over, and the judges have arrived. This week's judges are top interior designer Stephen Falk, Plascon's color expert Anne Result, and Adrian Goslett, the CEO of Remax of Southern Africa. While the judges head off to view the rooms, the contestants have to wait outside, their mood as somber as the weather. The first bathroom up for judgment is Blueprints, and we know it's killing Wanga that it's not 100% complete, but time had run out. I think that's what would amaze them, like, only if they finished, like they always said, only if they would have finished, it would have been great. Well, let's see if what they have done manages to impress. Judges, what are your immediate thoughts on the room? Oh, I think this looks really good, considering they've only had three days. What do you think, Stephen? Yeah, I think great. They've made a, a good effort, nice and spacious. Use of material was good. And I think overall, as an aesthetic kind of quality, it, it works. My favorite part of the room is the natural sandstone wall, because that really gives it that spa feeling. Some of the practicalities that worry me are the shower door or lack of the shower door, so there's a very high likelihood, especially if you're six foot five like me, that the water's gonna be spraying all over the place. I think the finishes could have been better and this doesn't flow to the corner as it should. If you had to leave this on, a puddle would start collecting, yeah, and uh, that's probably the, something that needs to be yeah. looked at and fixed. But in three days, it's a pretty good effort. Yeah. I love that they've brought Winter Haven from the bedroom into the bathroom, I think that was great. But um, I do notice that they haven't used a water-based enamel on the trim or the door, which I think they should have done. They could have used Winter Haven actually on the door as well, which would have given it more space. White sort of works as an accent colour and it really sticks out. Obviously, the things were done to a limited budget and a limited time scale, but uh, there were finishes that just kind of needed attention. So how did Team Blueprints members do with regards to their individual challenges? I think it was ambitious. It could work, but one has to be careful. And I think when you sort of stretch your hand out to, to get some toilet paper, you have to be careful you don't burn your knuckle. I really like the fragrance holder and the candle holder, but it was just too flimsy, so it wouldn't last in a bathroom. And the, the tray that went over the bath, I don't know what actually that's for. It looked more like it should be in the kitchen. To drink wine in the bath can be great. Um, I think one also has to look at sort of smelling things and there's nothing nicer than infusion of, of smells and natural things. Um, but I think one has to be careful that it doesn't overwhelm. Wanting to maybe sit and have a glass of wine that the smell doesn't overwhelm your taste buds. Now moving on to Jacqueline's bathroom. Working without Travis to share the load hasn't been easy, but she did manage to finish on time. Will the judges appreciate her first effort as team champion? I think my space has a wow factor. That's the first thing. I think it, it's very different. And I think they'll look at it and think, wow, how was she able to pull that off alone? My first impression, I thought it was brave. The finishes were, were great, they were natural. Baltic pine is very a hard and exotic wood. The sort of eco-natural materials chosen, the yeah, bamboo, the wood, I think is, is great. I think she's thought a lot about the colours in the space. I think she's used the proteas as inspiration and also this painting, um, and that's great. Although I'm not too happy with the double tone of green in there. It almost looks like it's a mistake by using those two mid-tone greens in the bathroom. 
and I would have stuck to one green, maybe either the protea or the tile colour, but not two greens. But what do you think of um, the screen? I don't like it. <laughs> I just think it looks temporary. I would take it out, I'd rather not have a screen. Everything was so natural, but that was very artificial. My favourite aspect of, of that room is probably the fact that it does stand out, it is striking, it's, it's not the same as, as anything else I've seen, but that could also be a negative uh, as well. If I had to look at it from a buyer perspective, I think it limits the number of people that would walk in and say, wow, this is, this is, a, this is something I can identify with. Well, judges, you've seen Blueprints Bathroom and Details Bathroom. We have one more bespoke. I think the judges will love the fact that the bathroom feels open. It feels bigger than it actually is. This week, I feel like we have more of a chance than we did last week. So I hope we have a chance. Team Bespoke have made a real effort to bring the colours of their bedroom into their bathroom in the hope of making an impact. But will it be a good one? When I first walked in, some of the features looked really good. The tiling was great. I liked the colours and so forth. And then, unfortunately, looked across to the other side of the room. It was a bit of a mess. Immediately, uh, I'm not liking what's on that side of the room. As paint can really make a room, it can also break a room. And I think, unfortunately, What's happened here is the stripes and the, and the metallics just really don't work in this bathroom. It doesn't connect to me with anything. It's not natural. It's not a space I want to come to in the morning and, you know, start my day with that, you know. It, it really doesn't work. They've got a grey scheme in there, so maybe bring in the silver. I would have brought in the silver. Maybe silver and neutral stripes would have been a better choice. The gold and the red, just don't work in that bathroom with the tiles. There's no coerciveness in that room. You know, there were aspects of design. I liked the, the room divider between the bathroom and the bedroom, but I felt keep things simple. Painting things copper and brass, it was, it was too busy. There were too many thoughts. It should be simple, simple, simple. I think the positive points, there are positive points. Yeah. There's this kind of simple design, but I think it's all being killed by overdoing finishes, by doing too much. Yeah. You know, you can over-design things, which can kill the whole room. Yeah, you know, maybe what they've done is they've tried too hard, yeah. unfortunately. Absolutely, to try too hard. Right, so it's mixed reviews there. Let's hope the team's individual challenge items will fare a little better. Well, my first choice was to go to the oil burner. The minute I smelt it, I actually got quite a fright. It didn't smell as good as I'd hoped. I would have maybe uh, done a little bit more research and with a natural environment, you could have done some natural smells. They could have even just been herbs. And I think that could kind of been, have been a better option. I like the copper pipe very much. I think it should have been left copper and the smell was nice. I didn't realise it was copper pipe. I actually thought it was plastic tubing, which was really not my taste, but um, it smelled really good. Well, the judges have seen all the bathrooms and now it's time for them to deliberate. One person will be going home. Now let's take a look at those rooms again from a budget perspective. Team Blueprint finished up with 431 Rand to spare. Their biggest expense was their tiles that cost them 13,408 Rand, as well as 6,200 to install, bringing that total up to more than half of their 30,000 Rand budget. Their lights and floating shelves, however, were just 1,520 Rand. Jacqueline, the champion of detail, overspent slightly, but really made her budget stretch considering she practically demolished half of her room. Her hardware, including her bath, cost 12,763 Rand, but the spend was softened by her DIY sliding panel for just 2,659 Rand. Team Bespoke also overspent, but marginally so. The tiles and accessories cost them 10,000 Rand, plus another 6,560 to install, but their entire vanity and basin cost them just 4,766. Also, they spent only 1,795 Rand on decor, despite seeming to live in the shops. Apply for a Nedbank home loan today and stand a chance to win 100,000 Rand's worth of home decor to help turn your new house into a dream home. Go to winnerhome.tv for more info. Let Nedbank help you make the things that really matter happen. When we return, someone's going to win and someone's going home. 
Make the things that really matter happen for you. Use the Nedbank Instant Bond Indicator to find out the home loan amount you could qualify for in three minutes flat. Go to nedbank.co.za forward slash home loans. Make things happen. Nedbank. Walk into the studio, don't know what to expect. Um, we know what went wrong in our room. I'm actually feeling um, quite confident this week. Hello, contestants. It seems three days was almost not enough for you to complete your bathrooms. How are you guys feeling? Tired. 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 Jacqueline, as team champion, you are safe from elimination. Blueprint, should you be the worst performing team this week? The winner of the individual challenge will have the power of elimination to choose which of you go home. Bespoke. Should you be the worst performing team this week, the winner of the individual challenge will stay. The loser will be going home. The winners of the individual challenge and those safe from elimination are from Team Blueprint, for her toilet roll holder, congratulations, Rochelle. Awesome toilet roll holder. I'm a neutral type of guy, so I'm cool with the whole team. So I'm thinking, if Rochelle has power, I'm still on in the game. She told me, Wanga, you are a threat to me. So I will vote for you. I mean, she did the last time vote for me. So, I mean, it was expected. From Team Bespoke, the winner is Zimkita. Congratulations. I'm extremely relieved because this week it, it was difficult. It was really difficult. Oh no, my DIY oil lamp was just not good enough. And all of a sudden I'm wondering, I'm not safe. I, I'm feeling very, very unsure right now. Congratulations, ladies. On to your room. Detail. The judges loved the eco-ambience of the room. They found it very striking and unique. But your bathroom was niche, and the judges felt it had little marketability. And the screen made the bathroom feel a little bit too cramped. Blueprint, the judges thought your room looked like an upmarket spa, but you used the wrong type of paint on the wall, and you were missing a screen on your shower meaning if anyone was to shower, everything would get wet. Not thinking that we, we're gonna win this one. Bespoke. Your room design was great, but your use of color and paint really let you down. With all that being said, the decision between first and second place was incredibly close. The winning bathroom is. Congratulations, Team Detail. Congratulations. I worked really hard this week, so I'm extremely excited with the win. Blueprint and Bespoke. One of you are the worst performing team, and one of you will be going home. Blueprint. Rochelle. Should your team be the worst performing team, you have the power of elimination to select either Wanga or Sfiso to go home. <laughs> Mentally, I have my bags packed up, my ticket in my hand, flight back to Cape Town. Bespoke, should you be the worst performing team, Simkita, you will stay. Renata, you will go home. The worst performing team, as decided by our judges this week, is. That's when your heart goes boom, 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 you're thinking you might just go home. I'm not safe, so there is a very good chance that I'm going home. Sorry, team bespoke. Renata, you have been eliminated. Yeah, it's very bittersweet being the team champion. 
uh, I don't think he's sunk in yet. My mind logically knows what's happening. It's like, yes, girl, you're here now. But my heart is slowly catching up. I wish all the contestants all the best because I know how hard it is. But I also know how much fun it is. And I had fun here, so I think, you know, I'm, I brought that to the show. Zimkita, that makes you team champion for Team Bespoke. Unit eight is all yours. <laughs> With Zimkita taking her place as Winner Home's newest team champion, Winner Home is just down to a handful of contestants. The pressure is really building on Winner Home. Fortunately, it's easier for you to be a winner. Just enter this week's SMS competition or vote for your favorite room online to stand a chance to win a two-bedroom home here in Durban. And to find out what's cooking on the next Winner Home, tune in on Fridays at 7.30. Till then, good night. To stand a chance of winning, simply vote online for your favorite bathroom at winnerhome.tv and you'll be entered into our grand prize draw where you could win one of three amazing prizes. The third prize is 50,000 rands worth of LG products so you can furnish your home with cutting edge appliances. The second prize is the all new Mercedes Benz GLC 300. And the first prize is a two bedroom home at Ilana Views in Durban's prestigious Omklunga Ridge area. The other way to enter into the grand prize draw is to enter our weekly bonus competitions via SMS. Our bonus prize this week is Plascon paint to the retail value of 10,000 Rand. To enter, SMS the keyword Plascon to 33728. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. Entries for our SMS competition close at midnight on Monday the 12th of October and T's and C's can be found on winnerhome.tv. Last week's winner of our SMS competition is Eugene Mirage from Kimberley, who wins a gas bride to the retail value of 5,000 Rand. Remember, voting online as well as each SMS to enter our bonus competitions puts you in line to be one of the three winners of our three grand prizes. Another Feel Good Production. Whether it's your first apartment in the city, a trendy suburban townhouse, or that dream family home on a golf estate, there's a home for everyone on private property.